Hey YouTube, is that what you're supposed to say? I don't know. Anyway, uh, it's Nigel here again. Uh, welcome back. This is part two of the Meng M911C Het build review. This is a 135th scale tank transporter. It's a beautiful kit. As I said in my first part, it's covered in horrible ejector pin marks and bits of flash, but the detail is just astounding. It's, it's really, really nice. Um, as you can see the chassis or should I say the frame is coming together pretty well um, the axles are on you actually get metal axles for the rear two of the four axles the middle axle is hidden underneath the winch mechanism at the moment but as you can see um, the, the winch mechanism is is gorgeous I love the way Meng have done the hosing rather than give you vinyl pipework they actually mould these um, serrated or concertine whatever tubes and it's uh, and, and the fittings are beautiful I'm very tempted to paint those in silver and then chip them after so that the so they really stand out because the hex nuts and everything are there um, I haven't put the uh, ropes on yet or the cables I'll leave that till the end after it's all painted um, the chassis itself as you can see we've got the the forward of the three axles here I've left this floating um, I can't decide whether to have it in the raised position or down. I'm assuming that they would have had it in the raised position when empty and down with a full load, say a, a big um, M1 or something on there. So, um, yeah, uh, nice, all still moving about. So you're pretty much guaranteed to have good axle contact with the ground and the steering works. Very concerned about this, um, the amount of wobble you can see in the front axle. So. You know, I don't know, they may have to glue that up just to make sure the wheels stay vertical. Um, starting now on the hydraulic system. This is the hydraulic oil tank. It goes in the rear on top of that framework. Um, more bits and pieces of it here. This here is a, uh, it's quite a nice addition. It's just a, a two-part tube. Um, you, you glue together and it becomes the template for folding the photo etch or rolling the photo etch that goes around the exhaust silencer here. So uh, yeah, they thought of that pretty well. Um, another small part of the, of the hydraulic system. There you can see there's going to be some more of those fittings and the um, and the convoluted hosing going on there. Wheels. Um, maybe someone could tell me what this slot is for. I don't know, but it's there. Um, it goes right through. Probably shouldn't, but it does. Um, and then we've got the front wheels here and the wheels for the middle axle. And as I said, here we've got the the airbag for the um, for the the second axle or the third axle from the back if you like the the middle wheels if you want to call it that um, one in the deflated state and one in the raised state so not quite sure what to do there yet um, oh there's the heat exchanger which I won't put in yet because I haven't started adding the engine parts so yeah there we have it um, lovely model uh, very very nice. Very nice detail, way overpriced, uh, way too many ejector pin marks, but um, as you can see, nice, nice model at the end of the day. Thanks for watching and um, please subscribe, like, dislike, comment, whatever. Uh, I look forward to hearing from you guys. Bye.